All right, we have an exciting one for you today. The public beta testing for GNOME 41 is currently available. So what we're gonna be doing is running through it, telling you about some of the new changes, and this is gonna be done on GNOME OS. GNOME OS is the basically developer front end for GNOME for developers to go ahead and work on it, try it out. It's not something that you should probably install on your primary machine but it's definitely fun to play around with. So in GNOME 41, there's gonna be quite a few different changes, including a new calls app, which will allow you to use voice IP calls and will work natively if you actually have data and you have a SIM card in your device that is running GNOME 40. So that's gonna be cool. Additionally, there's better display manager support. So it says here that the GDM login manager is to allow Wayland user sessions, even if the login screen is on Xorg as well as for single GPU vendor NVIDIA machines. So that's basically the updates that we can't really look at. So here is GNOME 40. I already went ahead and installed it. So this is our initial kind of login screen here. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're on English, English US. Let's enable location services. It doesn't know where I am. So I'm gonna drop myself over here. Go next. Here we could connect some accounts. Let's skip that for now. And uh, GNOME, GNOME OS is pretty cool because basically everything is flat packs, all the applications and everything, which if GNOME could have it their way, that's how everything would be. So I'm just gonna fill this out here real quick. I'll just go uh, put in my full name and you can set up parental controls if you'd like to. Let's go ahead and go next. Add a password, make sure it's not showing. Go next and we're all done. Let's start using GNOME OS. And here it is, it says, welcome to GNOME 41. Let's go ahead and take this tour here. So take tour and get started tour. So learn about the new and essential features of GNOME OS 41. So we could get an overview of the activities and apps panel. This is no different on the bottom. We saw that big change in the navigation in GNOME 40. So let's go next, make apps your own, keep top on workspaces. Uh, gesture control is another big thing in GNOME 40. Move on, move on, and that's it. So let's continue. And first things first, we aren't gonna be able to use it, but let's go ahead and go into our applications and see if we have access to that calls application. So maybe it's under utilities. Uh, we have connections here, so that's new. If I go ahead and open this up, welcome to connections, learn about connected networks. Let's go ahead and continue on through this. Use other desktops remotely connect different operating systems, enable remote desktops for connecting, hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and add a connection. Oh, so this is just for controlling other devices for a VNC and Windows devices. So I'm trying to find that phones app. So I'm not seeing it in here either. There's supposed to be a, a cellular panel somewhere, but it might just because I'm in the virtual machine and it's detecting that. But one thing that's new is this right here, multitasking. So this panel is new within the settings. So right here we have general, we have the hot corner control. So we can dictate what happens when we go ahead and put our mouse up there. Or really only open the activities here. So if you throw your mouse up there, that's what hap will happen there. And we have uh, active screen edges. So drag windows against the top left and right screen to resize them. So you could enable or disable this functionality if you'd like to there. And then right here we have workspaces, so we can set between dynamic and a fixed number of workspaces. So if you want there to always be four, for example, you could set that, or you could do dynamic, so it will create and remove workspaces as you move windows to various workspaces. Here we have some multi-monitor stuff, so workspaces are primarily on display only, or on the primary display only, or you could display workspaces on all displays, so that's pretty cool. Uh, right here under application switching, you have include applications from all workspaces and include applications in the current workspace only. So that's a nice little addition. Another thing that's new, I don't have an ICS file on hand, but the calendar application is now capable of opening those type of files. So if you use those, it's easy to add things to the calendar. Another change is GNOME disks will be using LKS2 for disk encryption. This is a VM, I'm not, don't have really any other disks, so I'm not gonna be able to show that, but that is a new feature. And another new thing is within Nautilus, the uh, file manager, there's new compressing tools. So let's go over to downloads. We're gonna have to probably download something. Actually, let's just go to our home directory, go control H, and let's say we wanted to compress this bash RC and this dot profile. 
right click and if we go down over here to compress we can add the archive name so let's just do uh, dot files and then right here we could change zip zip password protected tar x z or 7 zip so I can make a protected password and then give it a complicated password such as password create and it threw up an error correction us or encryption not supported but that is going to be a new feature that will be working just fine soon Another change is the unification of open with within the context menu. So that should be basically the same no matter what type of application you try to select the open with option with. And overall, there just seems to be a slightly edited UI in Nautilus. And supposedly, the uh, software center has a slightly revamped UI as well. So let's go ahead and open that up real quick. All right, so apparently, the, uh, the GNOME software center may not be opening up for us. So. Things like this are to be expected in beta software, and especially a uh, non-Linux distro Linux distro. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to try that out. Um, that's basically a, the summary of the new changes. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you're more interested in GNOME 41, but let's kind of skim through GNOME OS here and check out what works and doesn't work. Uh, we have our system monitor here. Let's see what's going on when it comes to the resource utilization. Uh, it's using about 1.2 gigabytes, which is fairly normal for a GNOME system. Uh, the CPU is working a little bit, but not too much, sitting around 3% with the occasional spikes. Uh, we have file systems here, so you can see what we're running. The default for GNOME OS is ext4. And then under processes, we can see everything that is going on in GNOME OS. We have xwayland, uh, some systemd stuff, a bunch of gsd. And then GNOME session binaries, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary. So let's go ahead and close this out, go under activities again, and see what else we have going on. Ooh, one thing that's new is the uh, music application has some uh, new UI improvements within GNOME 40. So if I go ahead and open this up, this is the contents of the music folder. The thing with GNOME OS is there's really not much to check out, especially if certain things won't open like the software center. But one thing I will say, if you're interested in trying out GNOME OS, it's actually pretty simple. I didn't have too much luck getting it working in VirtualBox. So to actually run GNOME OS, what you're gonna want to do is get the latest version of boxes, GNOME boxes, and install that on your system. This right here is the repository that holds GNOME OS basically. So what you're gonna want to do is go over to download here and then we have the ISO installer. So if you go ahead and click on that, it's gonna go ahead and download that within the zip file. You'll see the installer ISO in there. If you do want to go ahead and try it out, again, you're gonna to have to do this with GNOME boxes, otherwise it will not see any bootable media. So that's how you go ahead and do that. I know this video didn't really accomplish too much, but it was pretty cool. Here we have a list of all the new stuff that we have in GNOME 40. This is what I'll be linking down below, including the cellular and multitasking panels, which we saw one of those. Uh, the GPU NVIDIA system things with a GDM. The music application is going to get some new mockups. The shell has fixed Wayland X or the X Wayland application support and will not be used in system D in user session. Software will see a rework in the user interface. And then we saw that compressed dialogue thing. So with all that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members, Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Timo, Anthony and Kyle. You guys are some top tier Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much. Uh, with all that said, I hope you all have a beautiful day and goodbye.